Hey y'all, welcome to Unboxing Discovery by G. My name is Gina and this is Miss Callie Cat. You wanna say hi, Miss Callie Cat? Say hi. Say hi. She's like, no, I would not say the hi. <laughs> it is a rainy, muggy day here in the Mid-South. My windows are still fogged up, even with one of them cracked. And I cut my hair up, but it's already popping on again. Uh, it says it's 72 outside. I set my air conditioner at 72, but apparently my air conditioner still thinks it needs to come on. That's besides the point. Y'all, I may have overdid it just smidge smidgen. So, um, I told y'all in a previous video that I had ordered a few wonderful boxes. Well, they all came in. Uh, I, I filmed that one, which was the Sunny Trends. If you haven't seen that one, I'll put a card up above so you can go back and watch it. I also received the other three boxes. And oh my goodness, I got lots of stuff from Wannable to try on. We're going to talk today about the Patio Perfect style box. So, yeah. Let's see if it's going to be perfect for the patio or not. I'm excited to find out. If you do not know what Wantable is, it is a try before you buy clothing subscription. You can get specialty edits. You can get a style edit. You can get men's edits. Um, you can get active edits. There's a sleepwear edit with, you know, lingerie and su such in it. So I don't go for that one too much. But yeah, all kinds of fun, different edits you can try out. If you don't like it, you send it back. There's a $20 styling fee. If you don't keep anything, they do keep that styling fee. But if you do keep something that's over $20, you're not going to lose any money. That money is credited back to your purchase. Well, hey, baby girl. Now you're interested in me. All right, the box has, all my boxes have sat here for a couple days because I have been still trying to get over whatever's been wrong with me. Who knows? Maybe it's just that I'm cray cray. But they have cat fur all in the boxes, especially the cat lady box that we'll open later today. That one, they rubbed on a lot. But we are going to open these boxes up and see what is inside. They're going to send you seven items in here. You have five days to try everything on. If you keep five or more items you're going to get 20 percent off and if you click on my link below when you sign up you will save off so yay for that and i do appreciate it if you use my links it does help me to keep bringing content to the channel now the reason i did so many of these specialty edits was because i got an email that said it was going to be five dollars for each edit well i misread and what happened was certain ones were $5, like that Sunny Trends one was a $5 edit. So that means your styling fee was only $5 instead of 20. The other ones, they're still gonna be 20. I think all the rest of them were 20 except for the Sunny ones. But in that email, there was a couple different ones. I can't remember which one it was. Clearly not the ones I picked, <laughs> but very much fun. We'll enjoy trying everything on and me attempting to whittle it down and not spend all of my big money. <laughs> I am bad about that. Let's just open the box and see what's in Sunny Trends. So they do even have a sticker that says Style for Me. The box out of the way. Sneakity pick. Ooh, pretty colors. Pretty colors. Before I open the bundle, I'm going to pull this out. Here's your return envelope. You put what you don't want to keep, what you want to exchange in here. Send it back. It does go through the post office. Of course, you do want to check out online first, but then you put everything back in here. Very easy. Style, patio, perfect. <sighs> Let me see. Okay, so my stylist this time is Maya. By the way, it is customizable. You can get them every month or you can just get one every once in a while. You can just, you know, do the specialty edits, whatever you want to do. It's, it's very easy. Like I said, five days to try everything on. It says, hi, Gina. Yay, hope you're ready for some fun in the sun. 
This limited time style edit is packed with seven sizzling summer trends designed to make you look and feel beautiful. They do have like a little section where it's like you can request different, um, what do they call that? The stream, I think they call it. And so you can actually request certain items. Happy to include your requested floral knit dress and sleeveless top to keep you feeling good whether you're hitting the patio with your pals or firing up the grill for the first time or second or third. These fits are perfect for all of your sunny soirees. Ooh, I can't believe I said that right. <laughs> you know I get tongue tied. Uh, you have five days to try everything on. Don't forget if you keep five or more items, you'll get 20% off. Be sure to let me know what you think at self checkout. Cheers, Maya. And here is a little picture of Maya and that cute. On the back, it tells me, you know, shows me a picture of the item, shows me the prices and my totals. So my merch total, there's $349.50 worth of products in here. Of course, if I keep everything and got the discount, that would bring it to uh, $279.60. Then they would take off my styling fee, but they would add sales tax. So if I keep everything in this box, it's $277.77. That's a lot of sevens. Maybe this will be a lucky number seven. What do you think? All right, let's, let's, I, I see jewelry. Oh, the last jewelry in the last box, I really almost kept it. I really wanted to keep it. It was cute seashells. I thought, oh, that'd be great for summer, which is what they were going for summer trends but you know i went ahead and sent it back i was a good girl uh let's look and see what this one is with the patio perfect let's see if it's patio perfect i'm i'm kind of on the fence i did love these layered ones and i was getting them all the time but then i kept, kept getting kind of tangled with them what does it have on there oh it's like a star so sometimes i love them and sometimes i don't it just really depends look at the latch there's that claw foot it does have an extender on it with the cute little stone so it is it's very cute let's see what it says this is a Lou & Co triple layer pendant necklace in gold $36 see and the problem with it is because I like my Roxbox subscription so much that's the only reason I don't keep a lot of this stuff is because I'm getting my jewelry through that or just renting it and not actually purchasing it. But I do like this layer that has this particular color in it. I think it's very cute. I hope it's showing up for you. I can't see if it's focusing. Oh, and I dropped it. So let's just move on because I don't know what I'm going to do about this yet. I don't like to put them on if I know I'm going to send them back in these boxes, even though I know you can. I'm just weird like that. Box box, I know everything is sanitized. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, they say that they, you know, take special care with stuff because I asked, I, you know, I asked one time, I was like, well, what about us people who have cats and, and dogs and things like that that will mess with people's allergies? And they said that everything is inspected and, you know, made sure that it's all okay. And there's, there's actually CDC guidelines for clothes that are returned for them to follow. So I like that idea. So here is this dress. Is this not huge? It's, it's interesting. Look at that. It's, it's like it almost can slide and be widened. Or not that's interesting and of course it's a maxi dress i love maxi skirts it has a nice size slit on this side does it have it on both sides yes it's on both sides can y'all see because i can't see anymore <laughs> it's very pretty like i like the colors it's very pretty this like i said was requested it is a west key floral knit surplus maxi dress in blue floral floral large it's normally 74 dollars on sale for 55.50 right now 
Now, I think it is polyester-esque. I wanted to look at this. There is elastic in this waist, but it does have kind of a wide band. I'll have to show it to you on. Let me see if I can find a tag. Hand wash, cold water, hang on line dry, 95 polyester. So I may be hot. Well, I mean, that, a polyester does not breathe in this humid weather so very well. But sometimes in the dresses, I'll let it go because I think they're so pretty. And I think they hang well. For some reason, I don't know why I feel like polyester just hangs pretty on me. So I have a hard time, you know, not. <laughs> this is a 78 and sunny tee. It looks tiny. Good vibes and high tides. It's cute. It is a crew neck, just a white tee. And let's see. Good Vibes High Tides Graphic Tee in Bright White Large. It's $49. And it's very cute. Do I think I'll keep it? Uh, probably not because I'm afraid it's going to be tight and it'll be a crew neck. What is this? Oh. Okay. It's not much of it. <laughs> um, but apparently I requested it. Clearly, I did not realize how short it was going to be. It has a cute little bow in the, well, you know, tie in the front. It's got like a, kind of almost a sweetheart, tanky look to it. It's a very cute pattern. It's got some smocking here in the back. The straps are wider, but they are adjustable. And it's kind of a little ruffle. I don't know. I'm wearing a crop shirt today. We'll, we won't judge until we try it on. It's skies are blue. I do like that brand, especially in blazers. Floral printed sleeveless top in ivory and navy. I guess that is navy. I would have said black, but I guess it is navy. Sometimes my eyes just don't show right. $49. So I guess I requested that on May 26th, 2022. What, that was a couple months ago. Who knows what I was thinking then. It has a zip on the side. It is double layered at the top. 75 rayon, 25 nylon. The line in is rayon. Wash cold. Hang to dry. We'll try it on. We'll see how it goes. This is a Z Supply. It is a pretty color. It's got a pocket. Just a tank. I know some people love the pockets, some people don't. They don't really bother me either way. I just think it's just another detail on the shirts. I love the color though. It's a very cute color. This is the Pocket Racer Tank in Wild Dahlia Large, $34. I love a good tank. And I love that it's V-neck. So these are Democracy Shorts. In my last box, there were two pair of democracy shorts. These are very different. These are a more stiff feeling material. These are the Absolution High Rise Mold and Hold. Absolution High Rise Short in Light Blue Vintage Size 10, $68. That's the only thing is they're $68. Um, hmm. I was looking at this. See how that pocket is sticking out? I didn't love that. There's the little democracy emblem. There is distressing and it does go all the way through. Hmm. Okay, I mean, we'll try them on. You know me, I'll probably love them even though. <laughs> but I really don't. I don't need to keep any more shorts right now because I kept a pair from the last one. Kept the green pair. Um, all right, this is a Mica Rose Maxi Skirt in Hibiscus Floral Large, $58. Ooh, it's bright on the inside. Stretchy top. It is that petite floral 
that everybody is liking right now. It is double lined all the way to the bottom. Polyester-y for sure. 100% polyester. Yeah, wash inside out. Iron low heat. So you couldn't put it in the dryer. I don't love that. This one isn't my favorite so far, y'all. But it does have pockets. <laughs> pockets are always a plus. We know that. All right, so I'm going to show you what I'm wearing today. Then I'll try all this stuff on. I would really love it if while I'm trying everything on, you would tell me what you like, what you don't like, all that good stuff in the comments below. And really, I, also, I'd really appreciate it if you press all those lovely YouTube buttons. Please give the video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribing to my YouTube channel is absolutely free, and I appreciate it greatly. Don't forget to press the share button and share with your friends the channel. I appreciate that as well. I'm saying I appreciate that a whole lot, but I really do. Thank y'all if you do any of those things. And don't forget about that notification bell. Let you know what's happening on the channel. I'll see you back in a minute. All right, so here is my outfit of the day. I'm wearing these cut from the cloth jeans. I actually got from Marshalls for like 20 something bucks. Yay. I can't remember where I got this top from. Um, it was one of the subscription boxes. I'll put it down below in the description or maybe put it on the screen if I can find it. It's just a cute little crochet top. It's a little crop for me. So I, I'm constantly doing this number with it, but I was hot today. So I just wanted something cool. Um, my jewelry was a gift from my sister. She got it at like a craft fair type type store so yeah let's just try some clothes on so this shirt actually fits a lot better than i thought it would um i'm i'm rather surprised i actually thought it was going to be super tight and it's not it's comfortable um the crew neck isn't even too high it does buckle a little but that probably because these are pulling i just tucked it in i put the skirt on to go with it because I couldn't figure out what else the skirt should go with. <laughs> um, there's the shell underneath it. I don't know that I love the skirt. It is a little on the long side. Um, I could probably pull it up higher to adjust that if I needed to. I think it is kind of cute with this with the shirt, but I'm probably not gonna keep the skirt. It's just, I don't know. I'm just not in love with it. I think it's perfectly fine. I don't know what's wrong with it. Why well, I'm thinking like that. I am going to put the shorts on with this top just so we can see this with shorts denim, which is probably what I'd normally wear it with. Um, I'm trying to decide if it's bugging me right here. I can feel it pulling right there just a little bit. What do y'all think? It may be just a little on the small side. <laughs> I think the shorts are cute. They come to a, I actually like this length on them a lot because they won't feel like they're riding up right here as much as some things would. But I don't know. For one, I don't like the distressing. The first thing that happens to me when I put these on is my toe goes in the hole. That's just what always happens with me. And it, I don't know about in real life, but in the camera, it just looks like this is bleached and this is dark. Does it show up that way to y'all? And I don't get it. They don't look that way as badly in my mirror, but I turn to the camera and they definitely look that way. I think they fit great. They come up high enough. They're nice. I think it's cute. Now, do I think I will keep this stuff? Nah. Probably not, just because I don't know that I need it. Uh, how much were the pants? For $68, I probably won't keep them, even though I do like them. What do y'all think? All right, let's move on to the next. No, we're a cat down here. Okay. I, I started to put it on and think, oh, no, it's cute. But I, no, this thing sticking straight up is driving me crazy. I definitely would have to wear some sort of different bra situation, if anything at all, and I, I couldn't go without. Um, and I always feel like these things just make this look so much bigger. They just, it, 
accentuates it badly. And of course I have to wear, like I said, a different bra or something with it. I think the idea behind it's cute is just not for me. So we're gonna go to the next. If I can unzip me, I wasn't even sure I was gonna be able to get it on. It's not that it's that tight, it's just that I'm that big here. And even though this is loose right here, I think, it, I don't know, it's just not right. Just not right. All right, so I went to put this one on and I was gonna say, oh, this is gonna be the thing I keep out of the box. But I don't love that this is doing this. Can y'all see that? Yes. I don't love that. Um, I do like the hemline to it. I think it's cute. I think I could wear it under stuff and it would be fine. But this pocket just may get on my nerves because of the way it's got that unfinished to it. It's going to roll down and look bulky right there. It is clinging enough that you can even see the pooch sticking over the pants. Hmm. I don't know. Let's let's try the dress on and see how the dress looks. So I'm not sure about this one. I'm going to have to think on it. Look at that. You can see it sticking out. Oh, don't like that. <laughs> I figured I'd like this dress. Oh, look at that. On each side. It is cute. It hangs nicely. Of course, I'd have to wear a different bra situation with it because of how it swooshes scrunches up right here I could probably wear you know one of those that goes around my neck or a strapless and get away with it I think it's cute it is a bit bulky feeling right here on my belly but that's really the only thing I can say bad right now what do we think should I keep this one ready for the beach. I am ready for the beach. Not that I'm gonna get to go or anything. But <laughs> Helps if I put the hat on correctly. If nothing else, at least I know I'll be able to keep the necklace and get use out of that and not worry about losing any money. Even if I don't keep this dress because I think it's a little more than I really want to pay for well, it's 55. This is the one that was marked down. I don't know. I may keep this one. What do y'all think? Comment below. Let me know. All right, y'all. We are back. Man, I got so hot. I couldn't even try on all three boxes. I got through two and I was like, I can't. I, can't, I don't have any more energy. <laughs> so, we're going to film the rest sitting down today and we'll try on those clothes tomorrow. <laughs> but, I did get these tried on. So, let's go back through them and see what we think final decisions and all that good stuff yeah i'm not good at that stuff <laughs> i'm not good at the decision making process part of me is tempted to keep this part of me is not um i probably will keep it simply because it is on sale and i think it would make a cute little you know if you needed to have something to wear to a wedding or you know maybe a cute day trip out i mean i don't love the fact that it's polyester because i'm afraid that would make me hot but it's it's airy and flowy so i'm thinking maybe i could deal with that and it's on sale yes i'm gonna watch it back and see what it looks like on but you know what this shirt i am not liking this shirt on me today i'm not liking anything today hmm this should tell you something about my mental okay let me move on <laughs> I like the length of these. I don't like the distressing. If they were patched, maybe. I don't like the price either. Um, I just don't want to pay another $68 for a pair of shorts when I do have several shorts that still fit me. So I'm probably going to skip out on these, but I may put a like maybe in the future kind of note for this particular length of pant because I like them to be a little longer. And I thought they looked good on. This, on the other hand, I did not think looked good on. It just wasn't for me. I'm sure it would look adorable on somebody else. It just wasn't for me. I, I feel like it just accentuates my belly. And it just didn't fit right around my chest. So I am going to send it back. But I do give them props because the pattern was cute. And I think the cut is cute. It just didn't fit my body. 
not what my body's wanting to do today anyway, which doesn't look good. Even sitting like this, I just want to keep this part covered. I'm having one of those days, I think. One of those days. Um, this skirt, I wasn't all that thrilled with either. I mean, polyester, what would I wear with it kind of thing. I'm just not getting it in my head. Although I do think I have a blazer I could wear for a white shirt and look really cute with this. It just popped into my head. It, it, um, I don't know. I probably will send it back though because I just I didn't love it enough for for to worry about it. This is a good price for a shirt. I'm thirty four dollars tank top. Will I keep it? I'm not sure simply because of this rolling pocket. Oh, shit on it. That was my hair, not hers. Um, would that be a deal breaker for y'all, that rolling pocket, y'all? Because I was thinking about it's soft enough and I love the color enough that I would keep it if it wasn't for that one pocket. So this is a maybe. Um, I thought about this top, too, because I love the, the good vibes kind of tops. I think these are so... BG fun, but I'm just, I'm probably going to send it back because of the fact that I feel like it was just a little too tight on me. I know I'm a scatter cat. Ooh. So, if I do not keep this top, I will keep the necklace. If I keep the top, I'll probably send the necklace back. Honestly, I'll probably keep this and send the necklace back because I have so many similar to it, even though it was really cute. But, I'm still up in the air about that. It could go the other way. Y'all comment, let me know what you think. Which one should I keep, the necklace or this tank top? Or the dress? Because that was my other option was the dress. And if I keep the dress, I'll probably send both of these back. Hmm. What to do, what to do? I don't know, I never know. Most of the time, I just make the decisions last minute. Sometimes I get aggravated and send everything back because I'm just in one of those moods and I'm kind of feeling that way today. So I don't know. Um, don't forget to comment. Tell me what you think. I'm just having a day. And I, and I want to go fix my eyes now because I feel like I got recognized now. So thank you for spending time with me. I hope you enjoyed this. Y'all have a wonderful day and God bless.